This video is brought to you by Exploding Minions, a new card game from Exploding Kittens. Get it now at ExplodingKittens.com. Minions. Minions have been on this planet far longer than we have. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 funniest Minions moments. Pomodoro la quit. What? What did I say? Uh, Macarena? Banana. Banana! For this list, we're looking at the many moments that make the Minions one of the best parts of the Despicable Me franchise. What's your favorite Minions moment? Sound off in the comments! Number 20. Ice Cream Party – Despicable Me 2 We all scream for ice cream. But if you're a Minion, the sweet treat is cause for a giant celebration. We find the Minions partying it up with singing, dancing, and an endless supply of their favorite dessert. Actually, except for the choice of refreshments, it's a scene that wouldn't be out of place at your average frat party. Minions are never off-duty, though. The fun is interrupted when Gru comes to assign new tasks to several of his yellow henchmen. Kevin, Jerry, watch the girls for me, okay? Dave, Stuart, come this way with me, come on! But a minion knows that just because you leave the party doesn't mean you can't take the party with you. Number 19. Jelly Factory Shenanigans – Despicable Me 2 in the second movie, we find the Minions hard at work at Gru's new jelly-making operation. The work may have changed, but they still know how to have fun on the job. <laughs> Though, obviously, that comes with its own hazards. But they're always excited to be helping Gru, and innovation is still the name of the game. I developed a new formula which allowed me to get every known kind of berry into one flavor of jelly. Too bad this effort highlights the error in the trial and error process. The minions want to be supportive, but condiments are just too important to lie about. <laughs> Whoa. Number 18. The stars are brighter. Despicable Me Too. How many minions does it take to change a light bulb? They won't stop until they figure it out. That's the great thing about Minions, really. There are always as many as you need to get a job done. <laughs> and as we see, they really excel when it comes to teamwork. Sure, things might not always work out exactly as they'd hoped, but it's never for lack of effort. Okay, Pigotara! <laughs> You have to be careful what kinds of mistakes you make with the Minions, though. Their talent for creative problem-solving might take an unexpected turn. <laughs> Number 17. The Ice Cream Truck – Despicable Me Too We already know how the Minions feel about ice cream. Based on the reaction of the neighborhood kids, it looks like it's not uncommon for the local truck to be mobbed by the Minions before anyone else has a chance. All things considered, it was pretty genius to use the ice cream truck as a trap. Even when facing certain peril, these guys just cannot turn down the offer of a little frozen goodness. Maybe this is part of the reason why ice cream trucks have such an iffy reputation. Number 16. Jail Song – Despicable Me 3 What would a road or air trip be without a sing-along? We've seen that the Minions are a music-loving bunch to begin with. As they make their escape from prison, it's only natural that they would all join in on a time-killing staple. Maybe traveling in a big heap is a little bit of a mood killer, though. 
the crew up top has a much more cheerful rendition going on. We get it. Economy versus first class, totally different travel experience. Number 15, torture with blurb, minions. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Being in a dungeon is no laughing matter. Well, unless you're a minion. In this scene from the 2015 spin-off, our three heroes are locked away in an ominous, intimidating, and scary-looking dungeon. So get comfortable, minions. Get real, real comfortable. Because this is where you're going to spend the rest of your worthless little lives. A hooded executioner named Blurb, who is definitely not Herb, then proceeds to try and torture our poor little yellow friends. Luckily, the minions find the torture devices to be ineffective and even quite fun. <laughs> this scene perfectly illustrates why we love the minions. They don't ever let the worst situations get them down. Well, I hope you learned your lesson for today. Number 14, Minions Quit Gru, Despicable Me 3. Early on in the third movie, Gru suffers a few setbacks in his work with the Anti-Villain League. That doesn't mean he's gonna fall right back into his evil ways, though. Unfortunately, not everyone thinks that's good news. Don't take that tone with me. We're not going back to villainy. Uh, no tyranny? The minions don't seem to find Gru quite as impressive when he's just a normal suburban dad. In a rare moment of disagreement, they make their displeasure known to their boss. Don't say anything you're going to regret. Oh, no le pamos. Eliquita. <laughs> Ciao, Peru. <laughs> of course, the minions still make this funny, even if the idea of Gru without his helpers is unbelievable. It turns out to be a good day to be late to work, though. Ho, ho! Great news, guys! You have been promoted! You're in charge now! Huh? Not bad! <laughs> Number 13. Meeting the Nelsons. Minions. <laughs> It can be hard keeping a family together, let alone keeping it happy. When the minions come across this seemingly normal station wagon driving family called the Nelsons, everything seems great at first. Oh, Walter, look! These adorable little freaks are headed to Orlando, too. Yeah, I see that. With a free ride and plenty of apple slices, what could go wrong? However, we quickly see that this is no ordinary family. This one keeps itself together by leading a life of crime and robbery. You guys wait here. We'll be right back. Okay, Nelsons, let's do this! After they rob a rural bank, the Nelsons are all too happy to have the Minions aid with their escape. The Minions just can't seem to help themselves when it comes to explosives. <laughs> Number 12, The Firefighters, Despicable Me 2. Hey, dating is tough. We have all been there, and making that first move can be scary. I can do this. Crew's impulse is completely understandable. Who hasn't wanted to torch their phone at one point or another? And after all, what are minions for if not to help put out a few fires? especially the literal ones. Of course, Gru's minions are particularly enthusiastic. Their commitment even extends to appropriate sound effects. How helpful they actually are is debatable. They seem to have caused more damage than they prevented, but you can't deny their dedication. Or how much they seem to enjoy their job. Number 11 prison scene, Despicable Me 3. Really, considering all the crazy escapades the minions have been part of during their long lifetimes, prison is no big deal. Hey, get that back! It's not surprising that they quickly climb to the top of the food chain on the inside. It's just a fact that nothing says tough like coordinated finger snapping. With the other inmates thoroughly intimidated, the Minions crew seems to enjoy calling the shots. We've been waiting a long time. But no matter how well they handle their new environment, they are really just missing their boss. 
So much so that just the mention of Gru gets them excited enough to riot. Now that's love. <laughs> Number 10. King Bob's Entrance. Minions. <laughs> Being different can be scary. After trekking through Australia and dancing through India, the Minions make it to England. And Bob's a little intimidated. To make him feel at home, a small wardrobe change is made. Hello, King Bob. Yay. Welcome to Buckingham Palace. The yellow and blue decked crowd loves the entrance King Bob makes, but they don't quite understand the words he's saying. Come on! Come on, les bonos, les lassies! Méditez! Le la patty! Bob, la King of. La pas la machina, pukete! Pero no! La bibimbap, no les banana! After not getting the response he expected from his probably great speech, Bob proclaims, King Bob! <laughs> the crowd loves it. It's only logical to follow up with a mic drop. Number 9. Minions photocopying their butts. Despicable me. <laughs> Some things are universally true. The sun will rise, unicorns are cute, and butts are funny. This scene illustrates the very core and essence, the very soul of a minion. What does a minion strive for in life? What does a minion love? Butts. These three are so distracted by their facsimile antics that they don't even notice what's going on behind them until it almost kills them. And yet, they still continue looking and laughing at pictures of butts because that's what minions do. <laughs> Number 8. Prison Break, Despicable Me 3. Escaping prison is no sweat when you've got creativity, guts, and a large team of friends to bring it all together. We see the minions apply their unique brand of genius to their situation as they prepare to spring themselves from the big house. As always, it is an endearing mixture of efficiency and sheer dumb luck. You just have to love how nothing seems to slow them down for long. Using stolen materials from the prison laundry and bathrooms, they have an escape craft ready to take off in no time. You didn't think that we would go, go, go. Well, you know what they say about the show. Even if you don't play, it must go on. Though not before observing proper safety procedures, of course. They did seem to forget a detail or two, but it's not the minions without a little chaos. Number 7. Minions Turn Purple. Despicable Me Too. Purple isn't only the color of royalty, it's also the color of pure dog chasing, unicorn eating evil. In order to turn a minion evil, one must put it through a complex and complicated procedure. Or just poke it with some purple juice. In this scene, we see how minions are plucked from their island playground and turned against their yellow brothers. You might be terrified to see one of your brothers turn to the dark side right in front of you, but a minion apparently finds it quite funny. That is, until he gets poked with the same thing. Number 6. Island Joy. Despicable Me Too. <gasps> Clothing is apparently optional on this island paradise. If you ever wondered what the Minion's dream vacation would be, this is probably it. Bananas, beach, and bare butts. In this funny scene, we get to see Minions relax by playing volleyball, enjoying a cool beverage, dancing to music, and soaking up the sun. It almost all seems too good to be true. But don't worry about that. Have a banana and enjoy the water. The temperature is perfect. It's nice to see the Minions when they're not wreaking havoc. <laughs> Number 5. Minion Idol. Despicable Me 3. In what is honestly one of their most relatable moments, the Minions follow their appetites behind the gates of a Hollywood studio complex. <laughs> While fleeing from the security guards, they unexpectedly find themselves on stage at the taping of an American Idol-style singing competition. 
Luckily, the minions, though initially nervous, are ready to go with their own rendition of the famous patter song, Modern Major General. It's not long before they're caught up in the spirit of performing, adding costumes and props to their number as they go. Of course, it's a smash success. The audience may not speak Minionese, but they know talent when they see it. Number 4. Minions Fail at Keeping a Boss Minions But they all share the same goal. <laughs> to serve the most despicable master they could find. Boss! Aside from bananas and butts, all a minion really needs is a boss. In this hilarious scene, we discover a little bit about the minions' past, specifically their search for an evil master. Unfortunately for them and their bosses, the minions are bad luck charms. Despite their attempts to better the lives of a T-Rex, a caveman, a vampire, or even Napoleon, their antics do way more harm than good. Um, we'd kinda love to see a Minions and T-Rex movie ourselves. How about you? All in all, it's hilarious to see their life and adventures before Gru. <laughs> Number 3. Dave is in love with Lucy. Despicable Me Too. Do what they tell me anyway. Voila! Frolicking on the beach, enjoying a picnic, and shooting rockets into the night sky are just a few of the things Dave thinks of when he imagines a perfect date. When Minion Dave first meets secret agent Lucy, she kung fu's his cupcake and nearly karate chops his face, but that doesn't deter him from seeing something special in her. Or maybe that's what he likes. Either way, it's love at first sight for this miniature yellow assistant. Unfortunately for Dave, a life with Lucy is not meant to be, as she falls for someone else. Eh? You can leave now. Number 2. I Swear. Despicable Me Too. Ah, la pota. By the moons and the stars in the sky, we swear the minions aren't only about yellow fruit and rear ends. They also have a soft and romantic side to them. La manie, poti, la nota. In this scene, the minions serenade the guests at Grew and Lucy's wedding, and us with a sweet, if unintelligible, rendition of a classic all for one song, complete with white suits and doves. La pele, what makes this scene great is how genuinely sweet it is and how it's clear that they are happy for Gru. Also, we're pretty sure they're saying underwear. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Banana Song, Despicable Me Too, a minion spin on the Beach Boys classic. Lighting ceremony. Holiday cheer is its own language, and the minions are fluent. <laughs> Super Bowl ad, proving that the commercials really are the best part. And why? Why do you do this? Because you're a minion! Minions in the gym, the biggest loser. Could this be the secret to their stamina? Bananas are also a great source of energy, which make them perfect for these little guys. Isn't that right? <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Papoy. Despicable Me. And you have to get the little girl a new unicorn toy. Eh? Papoy? Never has a shopping trip looked so fun. It's no secret that Gru isn't the best father figure in the first Despicable Me. So he needs all the help he can get when he decides to adopt Margot, Edith, and Agnes. The minions are then sent on a very special mission to get a new unicorn toy. Go! And hurry! Or Papoy in minion speak. Got that? Papoy, not Papoy. It's an easy mistake to make. 
Here, we get to see the minions go on a hilarious adventure and get into all kinds of crazy trouble. They are rocketed through a store by Cola and end up singing a great rendition of Copacabana. All in a day's work for these guys. Since you love the Minions franchise, you'll want to check out this new Minions-themed game. This video is brought to you by Exploding Minions, a new card game from Exploding Kittens. Get it now at ExplodingKittens.com.